Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry, a complete solution of chemistry. In the series of video lecture of neat important topic, today we are going to discuss the calculation or determination of hybridization of odd electron molecule. Before starting this discussion, one request is that please watch this video till end. Once you will watch this video till end, then you will understand one concept, complete concept, and you will feel that you understood something after giving the 10 minutes to my videos. Any some more explanation you need, please comment in the comment section. I will try to make the video on those concepts also. So first of all, we must know that what is odd electron molecule or odd electron species. So meaning of odd electron is very simple. So the molecule or the species which do not follow the octet rule, that is do not have complete octet. If a molecule don't have the word complete octet, molecule which don't have the word complete octet, it will generally consider as a word electron deficient. And that electron deficient molecule having the what one odd electron on central atom then such type of electron deficient species known as what odd electron molecule or species in short if you want to define it then you can say that total number of valence electron of a molecule is an odd number then that molecule is your what odd electron species now for the calculation of hybridization as i discussed in the first two videos that we must know about the steric number and we know that what is the steric number formula number of sigma bond plus number of lone pair of electron if this number we are getting right equivalent to three four five six accordingly we can decide the hybridization of the odd electron molecule but again question is remain as it is what we will do with this odd electron how we will include and when we will include this odd electron in hybridization so now what are the methods for the calculation for the determination of hybridization of odd electron molecule for understanding this method the two cases are there case number one odd electron system or odd electron molecule without lone pair of electron on central atom case number two odd electron with lone pair on central atom. So first of all, we will discuss the case number one. In the case number one, how we will treat the such type of odd electron species. The first condition is that if oxidation number of central atom is positive, then odd electron orbital will involve or will participate in hybridization. As for example, meaning is what? When this condition is going to fulfill then odd electron we will treat that odd electron as a what lone pair of electron in that case we will consider that given odd electron as a what lone pair of electron so check the first example under this example number one cf3 free radical now draw the lewis dot structure of this free radical this is the lewis dot structure of this free radical oxidation number of fluorine is minus one here minus one is here minus one is here so total oxidation number of carbon is plus 3. Now check here the oxidation number of carbon is positive, positive oxidation number. So now according to rule, if the central atom is having positive oxidation number, then this lone pair of electron and orbital of this lone pair of electron will participate in the hybridization. So finally, what you will do, calculate the steric number now. In this case, this odd electron we will consider as a what lone pair of electron. So now check how many sigma bond? Three sigma bonds are there. One, two, three sigma bonds. So what is the steric number? Steric number will be what? Number of sigma bond plus lone pair of electron. So sigma bond is three. And we are assuming that this odd electron is working as a lone pair. So four. So what is the hybridization of this species? Sp3. Now again, if you want to compare the same concept with your valence bond theory. So this molecule will behave like a what? AB3. L1 type of molecule. In AB3 L1 type of molecule, a structure of molecule will be what? Tetrahedral. But shape of the molecule will be what? Pyramidal. So draw the tetrahedral structure now. And this is what odd electron. It is a part of hybridization. Now you want to check the shape of the molecule, shape of the species. So now just hide the lone pair part or the odd electron part. It is nothing. It is what? Pyramidal. So this was the first part of the case number one. Now case number first second part B if oxidation number of central atom is negative then odd electron orbital will not participate in hybridization then odd electron orbital will not participate in hybridization. So for this check one more example example number two which is what methyl free radical CH3 one odd electron draw the raw Lewis dot structure of this methyl free radical then you will find this methyl free radical on carbon there is a one odd electron but this odd electron will participate in uh, hybridization or not let's check the oxidation number of carbon so as the electronegativity of carbon 
is more than the what electronegativity of hydrogen. So what this carbon will do, it will pull the all the CH electron towards itself and finally hydrogen will get the what plus one oxidation state. Here is the plus one oxidation state, here is the plus one oxidation state and finally the carbon will get the what minus three oxidation state. So now the oxidation state of this carbon in this methylic free radical is what negative. So conclusion is that this odd electron will not participate in hybridization. So now what is the steric number now? Steric number will be for this methyl free radical will always equal to the what here in this case will be equal to the what number of sigma bond right. So a number of sigma bond is what 3, 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma this is what 3 sigma bond. So hybridization will be sp3 structure will be trigonal planar and which we can draw like that. This is the structure of methyl free radical trigonal planar with one unpaired electron present in unhybrid p orbital. This is what unhybrid p orbital. Now question is that how this orbital is what unhybrid p orbital try to understand with the help of electronic configuration of carbon. Carbon atomic number is 6. So electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p2 in ground state. This is the orbital structure. This is the orbital configuration of carbon. This is the, this is the orbital configuration of the carbon in ground state. So this is about 2s2, 2p2. Now when carbon will be in excited state, then what will happen? When carbon will come in excited state, so one of the S electron will jump to the what this MTP orbital. Now check the new configuration in excited state. It will be what 2s1. This will be what 2p3 now, right? So now the hybridization of this carbon in this CS3 free radical is what sp2. So conclusion is that this s and 2p orbital will undergo the hybridization and form the what 3 sp2 hybrid orbital. But this p orbital is what unhybrid p orbital and this unhybrid p orbital containing this odd electron. So this is your what unhybrid p orbital. Now I think it is clear for everyone. Case number two. What is the case number two? If central atom having odd electron with lone pair of electron then odd electron orbital will not participate in hybridization irrespective of oxidation number whatever the oxidation number central atom is having either positive or negative it doesn't matter very interesting two examples are there first example example number three in this three clo2 draw the lewis dot structure of the clo2 this is the lewis dot structure of clo2 and out of seven electron four electron it used three electron left now check the oxidation number of this chlorine oxygen minus two oxygen minus two chlorine is having the word positive if you will go with the word case number one then you will include this odd electron in hybridization but actual rule is that if odd electron is present with lone pair of electron then this odd electron is out of the hybridization so now how many sigma bond one sigma bond two sigma bond so sigma bond is 2, lone pair is what? 1, so steric number sigma plus lone pair 3, hybridization will be what? sp2. Structure will be what? Trigonal planar. This is the structure. This is the lone pair. This is your oxygen. This is your oxygen. Shape will be what? Bent shape or V shape or angular shape, right? This is a very good example. Now example number 4 under the same heading. ClO3. Now draw the Lewis dot structure of this. Out of seven electron valence electron, chlorine is using six electron with the three oxygen atom and this is the one odd electron. We will include this electron in hybridization or not. First check the oxidation state of the chlorine. Minus two, minus two, minus two. So oxidation number of chlorine is positive. Now here this is the positive oxidation state. Now this chlorine is not having a lone pair. So positive oxidation state alone odd electron. So it will be the part of hybridization. So now here how many sigma bond? 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma and this odd electron here we will consider as a what lone pair of electron. So what is the steric number now? Steric number sigma plus lone pair of electron. So sigma electron is sigma bond is what 3, 1, 4 hybridization is what sp3. So now what is the structure of this molecule or species tetrahedral but shape will be different shape will be what again pyramidal 
this is a tetrahedral structure here is oxygen here is oxygen here is oxygen right odd electron will be here which is working as a what lone pair of electron so now check what is the shape shape will be pyramidal i hope everyone is understanding this concept